All right, so you've probably seen those TikToks that are like, I became very, very nonchalant. Or just high quality videos on TikTok, and you're wondering, hmm, how do I do that? Whether you like the person in front of the camera, you gotta admit that that is pretty cool. And if you clicked on this video, you're obviously wondering, how can you do exactly what they're doing? Well, let's get into it. All right, you read the title. You are obviously, to start with, going to need a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. All right, you turn on the camera, you look at it, and you're like, man, that's not what I wanted. Well, there's more you gotta do. So let's get into step two. Cool, so you got your camera. But now you're thinking, wait, why do theirs still look so good and mine look a little bit, a little bit not as sharp? Well, you gotta up your resolution. When you go through the resolution in the settings of this video, you can see it's 144p, 240p, 480p, 720p, 1080, and 4K, and even up to 8K resolutions on YouTube. The higher resolution you go, the sharper the image looks, which is exactly the same thing that you wanna do on your camera. Go into your camera settings and head into the resolution. Whatever you are recording at now, bump it up as high as you can. If you're recording at 720 and you can go up to 1080, go up to 1080. If you're at 1080 and you can go to 4K like I can, then go up to 4K. If you're at 4K and you can go up to 8K, why not? Just remember, when you are recording this, the bigger the resolution, the bigger the file type. So this will take a lot of storage, not only on your camera, but also your phone and computer when you do export it to TikTok. But not only that, you will need an SD card that supports your maximum resolution. Some SD cards can be slower than others. Test it out and if it works, then you're good to go. But if it says that you have a slow write speed, you might have to upgrade your SD card. If you don't want to do that, then just go ahead and select the highest resolution that your SD card can run at. Here's a comparison between 1080 on the left and 4K on the right. A first glance might not seem like that much of a difference, but if you zoom in, you can clearly see that the 1080 is not as sharp as the 4K. Alrighty, we got the image quality down. Now all we're gonna need is a blurred background. Here, I am using a low aperture lens. Low aperture meaning the F number on your camera. The lower it goes, the more blurred out your background will be. Let me show you the differences between f-stops. This is an f5. This is an f4. This is an f2.8. And this is an f1.8. Mm-hmm. Now what if I don't have a lens that has that low of an aperture? Well, you're gonna wanna find a lens that you have that zooms in. Most cameras that are in a bundle come with a kit lens. Those, when you are close to them, are pretty wide angle. And if you are far away from them, not only is it gonna look kind of wonky, um, you're not really gonna get a blurred background. But if you zoom in on that lens and stand far back, you'll get a nice creamy bokeh of a background. Great, blurred, beautiful. Alrighty, so you got your clips. Now all you need to do is take them into an app and edit them. I personally use Premiere Pro to make my TikToks. I'll show you a few of them right now. If you don't have Premiere Pro and you just have your phone or you just don't have a computer, I highly recommend using an app called CapCut. That's one of the better apps that help you edit on your phone or you can use Premiere Pro or Premiere Rush on your phone as well. The links for those will be in the description. I'm just gonna show you a quick TikTok that I made a couple months ago. Let me show you. Hey, what's up, TikTok? It's your boy Eddie Hurrier here, also known as Eddie H Photo. How y'all doing today? This is part five of the seven biggest photography debates of all time. Let's get right into it. All right, the fifth question. Should you get into photography if you are only photographing yourself? Now, this is a really interesting question. I'm going to say yes. So photographing yourself, you're just taking selfies, you're just doing portraits of yourself. Obviously, that's gonna start off as a hobby. Nobody's really gonna pay you to take photos of yourself. That's a different type of content. Bruh. All right, for this one, obviously, I'm not dancing. It's not that type of TikTok. It's more of a content-related TikTok. But as you can see for this one, I added different transitions. As you can see there, that is a sapphire effect called digital damage on the text. I got close enough to the camera to where the background is blurred out, so there's a nice effect of bokeh. There's quick cuts, so from here to here, it's a slightly different angle in terms of how close I am to the camera. Oh, look at that, quick zoom in, boom, effect, and have a content. Bruh. But say you just sound effect. So yeah, you can do and add a lot to your TikToks, not only to make them look good, but also to make them special to you. Now for this clip. I ain't even a cow. 
I became very nonchalant. Obviously, it sounds pretty clear. It doesn't sound like he's using a microphone and he's outside. For that, he recorded a separate audio track either on his phone or through a microphone. If you have a microphone, it's really easy to do in Premiere Pro. Hit the microphone button, start talking, and you're good to go. If you're doing it on your phone on an app like CapCut, you either want to use the voice recording function or go into your voice memos and layer it on top of your existing video file. If you're in Premiere Pro, you're playing the video, nothing's happening, you need that audio track. Get the audio track, layer it exactly on top to where they match, cut it up, whatever you need to do. See, that's gonna start off as a hobby. Nobody's really gonna pay you to take photos of yourself, and then that's pretty much it. Now, if you're on CapCut, all you're gonna do is export it at the highest video resolution. It's gonna say high, medium, or low. If you're on Premiere Pro and you're ready to export, you're going to hit Control M. That's going to bring up your export settings to get the highest quality. So you're gonna go to video over here in the export settings. Make sure you at format h.264 scroll down here again to video check the bitrate settings that's going to be a little bit down click it it is going to be at vbr which means variable bit rate you're going to go to cbr it is going to keep a consistent bit rate so the video looks the same quality throughout the entire video now if you're at 1080p you're going to want the target bit rate to be at about 15. If you're at 4K, 720, or anything else, I'd highly recommend Googling the best bitrate for the video for your platform. On this case, it'd be TikTok. Cool, it's exporting. Once it's done, go into your files, find it, and you can either email it to yourself, connect it to your computer, any way that you can to get it to be on your phone to upload on TikTok. And there you go. You got a TikTok up and running, and you're a star now, hopefully. If you're not a star, I'm sorry. Good luck to you. But there we go. Alrighty, Photo Fam, I really hope this helped y'all out today. If it did, don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe now to be a part of the Photo Fam. I appreciate every single one of y'all. I appreciate all the support I'm getting. If you have any more questions for me, go ahead and drop a comment down below. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Take it easy. Bye bye. Yep. Yeah.